Hello everybody, the rich one here. As you can see, a fabulous headquarters over there. But today I wanted to show you guys something different. We got a few crops here. We got the house there. That's the rubber tree farm over here now. And then we have our flax, corn, wheat, and then the henip quin seeds all growing here. As you see, the island that we were on before up above is no longer there inside a little bit. And then we got the cactus growing here. The cocoa ovens are empty. I've decided this pit that I made over here, I'm going to use that. I'm going to put a layer with the filler on top of this. I'm going to dig this down. And then there's a machine that I want to try and make that I've seen on fixing this video. And it looks like a really interesting machine. And it, uh, I, just, I gotta try. I'm even gonna try and build me a crater here later today. I'm sorry that there wasn't a video up sooner, but I had some stuff coming up, as I said. What the be? End of trying the end of quarter or whatever you want to call them in the semester. There is so much stuff that we're being So I want to show you what I've been up to. I've leveled out this row. Ooh, I didn't know what that there for. That's all leveled out. And the hallway that was up there is leveled out to the most part. And I just finished running this last time I was on. So what I have to do is now I have to... Oh man. I'm gonna have to get some ladders. Or something, or make a path down here in some way. Because this, I want to run this down the bed and see how much stuff we get. So, let's go put it up here right there. I don't know. I can use a model. So, we gotta move this today. Uh, it's been busy, right? closed off the area that I've been digging, but I can still have access back there to dig. I'll show you how close that thing was. I didn't know how close I was if I was going to hit the chest room. It completely came and took the back of the wall right off the chest room here. So we got barrel storage now. We have, I've moved all of the dining materials down here. I know I don't have any diamonds except for it looks like diamonds, but XM Chrome, all of our materials, stuff like that. That used to have sitting up outside the house. Then I got, this is what I keep for with the filler. Let's just raise it up top for a tool. I do not know, I made these aluminum cans. But I cannot figure out how I use them or what they're used for. I know I use three of those. So I gotta show you the headquarters now. And it's just showing you guys a can break through. I have to show the headquarters. I've been very, very busy on this map. Zoom because I don't have a lot of fire on here. And once I removed that, I didn't have light anymore. So, you see the pipeline there? If I come up top, <coughs> sorry about that. Come up top, our tank is full, and we're running geothermal. And I don't have any other machines made yet. I was, I was looking at the electric furnace. I was looking at the electric circuit. So I was going to get some iron refining because we need one of those. We need one of those. So I was going to get and iron smelting. Okay, what uh, 
I'll be back as soon as this figures out what it's doing. Alright, we're back. I'm sorry, I just had to crash there. So, but yeah, I was talking about the electric furnace. I was going to get to work on that. And then I want to look into what I can use this creosote for. So, I'm planning on finding a use for the creosote oil. I take that. Turn. And having a lot of strange crashes. Normally it says it's a tick error problem. And of course my FPS just is dropping. I even had the other day where I was just playing, not recording or anything. I was just working down in the mine. And also it just kept me moving in one direction. I couldn't do anything. It just kept moving in one direction in a leg. Uh, a beautiful island. So, oh yeah. I was talking also about it's something called, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to look up. I know at least one part of it. It's called a brick breaker. Let's see if it pops up. Brick. It's a piston type thing, I know that. I don't maybe it's just on that server that I the person is on. Oh well. But it was really interesting because it you could build it big, put everything into a chest and it moved along. I mean you just turned on the power and it moved. Alright, so one thing that I plan on doing today outside of the electric furnace, or at least in the second episode that I make today, is I'm going to be getting a bunch of pistons made, redstone up here, and I'm going to clear a huge spot of this. And I'm going to build a huge wheat farm that is semi-automatic, where all I have to do is replant after I flip a switch to have it harvest. So that's what I plan on doing, upping my wheat production. And then I'm going to try and see maybe if there's any animals around here, and I'm going to work on getting a barn stuff ready to set up. So I need to get, uh, I gotta go back here. And sorry for the first half of the episode not having good sound. I wasn't plugged in. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties. It's been a tiring past week or so. So I need to get a refined iron, two redstone, six copper cable, and an iron furnace, which I have to make too. Down to the mine. Come on. I'm going to also be recording the start of a new series, a Minecrafter series, as you've seen the intro on a couple of the older Minecraft videos. It's going to be brand new, and I'm hoping to have a friend on sometimes with me. Okay, quit lagging. I don't know why I get such bad FPS. Okay, so we needed two. Oh, come on, don't crash again. Oh, need two more. Don't get why it lags so much. I'm gonna take that, because I know I'm gonna need it all. And there is more storage up above too. I don't know if I'm gonna need those. 
My gosh. Okay, I'm gonna grab the supplies and then I'll be back. Alrighty. We're back. There's the last of what we need. And I noticed something though when I came outside. Look at the Coke ovens. They look so eerie not running. So I grabbed something to get them going again. <laughs> they just look so dark and eerie. I got you guys something. I don't think we should ever let them be still, but it all depends on if I can keep finding coal. <laughs> Uh, there should be... Uh, why is there no crafting bench up here? Shoot. We'll be right. I cut down part of a tree. So, time to get the crafting going. Alright, so first thing is we need to get the circuit. So, find iron, okay, one refined iron, that, that, and then I believe it was that, yes, okay, now we need the iron furnace, a little spendy, but we can deal with that. Yes, an electric furnace. Let's get this thing popped on down. Come on. I can't get my hot bar to move. There we go. I think this should go here. It's getting power. <laughs> See how fast that goes. I heard that it's more efficient. But, oh wow, that goes a lot faster when my game isn't lagging. Oh man, I, it's gonna crash, I think. Stopping that. Alright, it didn't crash, it just went really low FPS. But you can watch our geothermal generator there. It's flashing. Because that's pulling power straight from there, or it was when it was running. But yeah, that goes a lot faster. And at least then I'm not wasting any more charcoal or coal. So now I could possibly just remove those other ovens I have. I just like the way that those look and how they flash. <laughs> They're so cool. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to, next episode I'm going to get more done because I'm recording most of today. So I'm going to get another episode. I'm going to try and actually put out two today. If I can get my rendering tool and stuff that I use to put the videos together to approve. So, thanks for watching.